We've been looking uh, over the past few weeks over the impact of that capital gains inclusion rate change, the increase that took place on June 25th. Bloomberg data indicates that it has driven some insider selling among Canadian executives leading up to the changes. We're joined for more by Bloomberg's Stephanie Hughes. Stephanie. Hey, Andy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So our data and our reporting has shown that some Canadian executives have been selling off shares in their own company there leading up to this capital gains tax change that, as you mentioned, took place on June 25th. So just to remind viewers of what exactly happened in this uh, tax change here, Finance Minister Krista Freeland announced in her April budget that uh, the capital gains tax inclusion rate would move up to two thirds of any gains or all gains over $250,000. So that's up from the half of taxable gains previously. So between the April budget and June 25th, that left investors with just over a two month window to offload shares at a lower price, uh, at that lower rate rather. Uh, so one of these investors seemingly in that window is uh, Constellation Software Chief Operating Officer Mark Miller, who offloaded uh, uh, 27,000, a total of 27,000 uh, shares in Constellation in three separate transactions in June. And this, the worth of this totaled uh, over uh, 100 million Canadian dollars there. This was the first disposition, uh, or his first disposition in this stock uh, since 2019. Another executive we were looking at is Shopify president Harley Finkelstein, who has been vocally opposed to this uh, this tax change over social media. He skimmed his positions by more than 1,000 shares net, but it should be noted that he still holds over 200,000 shares in Shopify as of late June. So I mentioned two tech executives there, and that's not really a coincidence. Uh, market strategists have been telling myself and my colleague, who, who also worked on the story, Jeff Morgan, that uh, the tech sector is likely to be the, uh, one of the most impacted sectors uh, now that this tax change has taken place. And the reason for that is because t tech stocks have been doing quite well uh, as they rode that AI wave um, in recent quarters. And, uh, and like for, uh, for example, Constellation Software uh, is up um, by about 220% uh, 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 since 2019, so that's not nothing. Tech companies tend to be also leaning hard on the uh, share-based compensation and stock options compensation for uh, its employees. So most in the business community have been quite vocally opposed uh, to this change, and some strategists have been telling us that they're not really surprised to be seeing that this triggered some sort of forced selling or that executives have been consulting with their accountants uh, to see what they should do in this situation. Andy? Stephanie, thanks very much indeed. Yeah, I, I, bet, I bet the tax lawyers and accountants have been busy over the past few weeks calculating. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much indeed. That's Stephanie Hughes of Bloomberg.